Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey Laidlaw and I'm the Community Events Coordinator for the Huntington Society of Canada. Today, I am going to walk you guys through our Huntington Heroes National Walk platform and give you a quick rundown of how to do all sorts of fun things using our fundraising software so that you guys are all prepared for the walk this May. So first things first, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to register for the event. So you're going to go to the link p2p.onecause.com slash HSC National Walk, and it'll bring you to this page here. Um, you can scroll down and see all of the information for the event. And if you keep scrolling, you're going to see all of the individual events within here. We have a bunch of local events. Some of them are in person and some of them are virtual. If you have an event here that you've been to before in person um, or something that's near you, you can register for that. Otherwise, you can register for our virtual option for those who don't have a local event. So to do that, you're going to click this register button here and it's going to tell you to sign up. So you can sign up using social media or you can use your email. So once you sign up for the platform or log in using your information from last year, it'll take you to this page here for you to register for the walk of your choosing. You'll see the walk name at the top here, and this is where you're going to put in your information. So put in your name, email address, street address, and phone number. And when you scroll down, you're going to choose what type of registration you want. So you can register for a t-shirt for $35, and a t-shirt will be shipped to you in June with our winning t-shirt design from our t-shirt contest that we held earlier this year. Or if you'd prefer not to get a t-shirt, you can register for free by clicking this option here. You scroll down, we have just a few more details to fill out. Um, if you are signing up for an in-person event, it will ask you if you are going to be joining in person or if you're going to be joining virtually. And you will just have to fill out a couple more questions. These ones are optional, so if you're not comfortable, you don't have to do it, but it just helps us get an idea of who's attending our events so that we can make them even better for the future. Let's fill out this information, make a donation here if you'd like, scroll down and accept the waiver, and then click next. So once you've done that, it'll take you to this page here and show you your registration information here. And if you'd like to register anybody else, whether it be a child, a family member, whoever, you can do so here by clicking the Add a Registration button. Once you're happy with all of that information, go ahead and click the Next button again, and it'll have you confirm your details. Just make sure that everything looks right here, and then you can click that Finish button. So now that we've finished our registration, you are all registered for the walk. It'll have a rundown of your information here. You can click this little button for the printable version if you'd like to print it out. So to go to your fundraising page, you can scroll over your name in the top corner there and go down to manage my page. So when you first register, it is going to give you a little tutorial if you'd like. You can skip that, but you could also use that to help you get through everything. I find the best way is to just go top to bottom on that left-hand menu and make sure that you're not missing anything. So first things first, you're gonna personalize your page. You can change how your name appears. Um, you can type in a couple of sentences as to why you're participating in the walk, but there's also one that's preloaded in there if you don't feel like doing that. You can update your fundraising goal. And if you scroll down, you can see this is the text that's going to appear on your fundraising page. It's always best to personalize this text as much as you can um, so that people really understand why you're doing this and your motivation behind it. So once you're done editing your text here, just scroll down and make sure to hit that save button so that your page is updated. You can check out how your page looks for the people donating if you click this little view my page button right here and it'll take you to your fundraising page. So it has your name, your picture if you've uploaded one, your little tagline, your fundraising progress, as well as the message that you've typed in here. Now, if you'd like to continue editing your page, you can click here the Manage My Page button right here, or 
can go back to that drop down menu and click manage my page there. If you would like to join a team or set up a team, you can also do that from here. If you click this button right here, you can see I'm already a part of a team um, and this will be your team page. So you can edit your team page information and again, just make sure you are hitting that save button at the bottom. You can invite people to join your team. You can email your teammates from here and there's a bunch of different settings that you can go through as well. So you're going to scroll down to this ask for donation button at the very bottom here. So you can make a donation yourself using this button or you can ask your friend. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can ask people. You can use social media, you can use text, or you can use email. You can use your personal email, but this page also has an emailing function and it makes it super easy to keep track of who you've messaged and if they've donated already. So to do this, you can click this ask email button. It has a message preloaded in, but you can edit this message if you like, and then enter in all of the email addresses of the people that you would like to ask. Just remember that this message will revert back to the original message every time you open it. So if you're gonna email a bunch of people, I recommend that you do it all at once, just so you don't have to keep changing this message back. Once you're happy with it, click that send email button and it will be sent out to all of your friends and family. You'll see that all of the emails you sent will show up under your donation asks here and it will tell you when somebody donates. So it'll list their name, their email address, um, and if they donate, it will let you know that as well. Additionally, if you are coming back for a second year and participated last year, it will show you the people that you've asked the previous year and how much they donated that year. So you can keep track of if you need to email them again this year, if you think they would give again, that sort of thing. Now, once somebody has donated, you will receive an email notification. If you've signed up for text notifications, you might get those as well. Um, so to do this, you can click on thank your donors and it's going to list everyone who has donated to your page. So you can see I have a donation here. It tells me the amount and the date that it was donated on. Um, and you can see that I've already thanked my donor here. Um, so you can either click this little button next to it and it will email them. Or if you have a bunch of donors that you want to email, you can click this email your donors button, select a group. And once you click that, it will put in all of the email addresses of the people who have donated. So you can use them all at once. Click that send email button again and it'll send a thank you to all of them. Our goal is to walk a total of 4,000 kilometers to show our solidarity across the country and just how much we can accomplish when we work together. So right now you'll see that the activity is not available for you to complete. That is because it is only open for the month of May. So starting May 1st, you'll be able to input any kilometers um, until the end of May. So the ways that you can do this is you can link your Strava account. On May 1st, there'll be a big button at the top that says link your Strava account. Click on that and it will ask you for your Strava login info. Type that in and once you're logged in, it will automatically upload any kilometers that you track. So if you're running or walking and tracking that on Strava, um, once you've completed that, it will upload to this fundraising page within a half hour and automatically counts towards your fitness goal, which is right here. And you can make this fitness goal anything you'd like. My personal goal is 100 kilometers, but it can be two kilometers, five kilometers, 50 kilometers. It's really a personal thing of what you think you can accomplish throughout the month of May. Now, if you don't have Strava, if you have a Fitbit or some other way to track your kilometers, enter them manually down here at the bottom. So you just have to type in an activity title. You can name it anything you'd like. The type of activity, whether it was a walk, run, or a ride, distance that you went, and then the date when this was completed. You can bribe it if you want. You don't have to. And you can also add in a photo or video. And once you're ready, click the Save button. And again, you won't be able to do this until May 1st, but it's the same process as you're seeing right now. And we're encouraging you all to track 
all of the kilometers that you walk through may to help us reach our goal and just show how much we're able to accomplish as a community throughout May Awareness Month. There are also tons of other fun things that we can do on this National Walk page. Um, you'll see if you scroll over what's happening here and go down to contests. We have a bunch of contests that are going on right now. Um, the first one there is our starting line draw. If you raise $300 before May 1st, you'll be entered to win an HSC hoodie and a water bottle. For every additional $100 raised, you also receive an additional entry. We also have the top fundraiser prize, um, and this will go to the person who has raised the most money nationally. So if we wanna see those numbers, again, you can go to what's happening and go to our national leaderboard and you'll see everything right here. So you'll see for our fundraising leaders, we can see who the top participants are and who the top teams are. And so you can check this out if you wanna see how you're stacking up against the competition, um, especially if you wanna win that top fundraising prize. It's a good one to keep an eye on. If you wanna check out your standing locally within whatever event you registered for, you can type in the name of the event in the search bar here. You can click on that and when you scroll down, you will see the leaderboard for that individual event as well. So you can see where you stack up amongst those that are registered for the same event as you. Now, those aren't the only fun things we have happening. We also have a page of downloadable resources for you. So if again, you go to the what's happening bar and click on downloadable resources. We have tons of things and more coming soon within the next couple of weeks, so keep your eyes peeled. But for now, we have some how-to documents of, again, going over the stuff that I'm talking about here, how to raise money. There's some great tips and tricks, as well as suggested social media posts you can use. There's posters that you can print out. There's coloring pages, and there's going to be so much more that's added in the next couple of and to end it off, I just want to say thank you all for participating in the Huntington Heroes National Walk. I know that when we come together, we can do amazing things and reach our goals. Um, if you guys have any further questions about how to register, how to use your fundraising page, you are free to email me at events at huntingtonsociety.ca and I can walk you through anything that you need help with. Now go out there and have fun.